Hey, what's up? This is Pat Flynn from SmartPassiveIncome.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly create a light box effect in your keynote presentation so you can highlight certain parts of your presentation just like this. All right, let's check it out. All right, so here I am in Keynote. I just opened a brand new Keynote uh, document here. It's 1280 by 720. Of course, it could be any size that you wish, depending on the size of the presentation that you're going to be giving. So I'm just going to delete these, double click to edits, because uh, there's not going to be any, any text here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot from my own website, and I'm going to place it right in the Keynote presentation, and I'm going to show you how I highlight a certain part of this screenshot that I take. So I'm going to take a screenshot here, and the way I do that here on the Mac is I hit Command Shift 4, and I can just drag and drop this box around, and it doesn't have to be exact, but I'm just going to let go. So what it's going to do, it's going to copy it to my desktop, as you can see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Keynote, and I'm going to drag that screenshot right here into the first sort of uh, frame or slide here. And if you just uh, if you have snap guides on, it'll it'll center it nicely for you, just like that. Now the next step is to quickly just duplicate it. And to do that, you can right click here on the first slide and click on duplicate. And the reason you're doing that is because we're going to be transitioning from this slide to the second slide, which is where we're going to highlight it. And you'll see how that transition works in a second. But the next step here on the second slide is you'll want to actually copy Control-C or Command-C and repaste it on. So you actually have two copies, one on top of another. And you can just lay them right on top of each other. You want them to be uh, exactly on top of each other, just like that. And then what we're going to do is you're going to hit this mask button. And what this does is it allows you to create a section of the layer that's on top, the screenshot that's on top. And what it's going to do is actually going to only include that part that you include in the mask. So what I mean by that is let's say I complete this mask and then I delete the, the second one in the back. You can see it only leaves that one on the front layer. So I'm going to... C Command Z to undo what, I, uh, undo what I just did there. Now, what I'm going to do on this particular slide, I'm going to open up the inspector, and I'm going to go to uh, the second tab here, which is called the slide tab, and I'm going to go to appearance, and I'm going to make the background color fill black. So I'm going to slide this all the way to black, and you're not going to see any changes on your screen right now. But the reason we do this is because we want to have the background be dark so it has a nice light box effect so it darkens the background instead of lightens it and it really makes the section that you're trying to highlight pop so for example if I go to uh, this fifth uh, tab here called the graphic inspector and I click on that and I, I make sure that the uh, background not the mask is clicked on I can move the opacity down just a bit and you'll see it starts to darken the screen behind it or the second layer that is behind this mask that we just created. Now if you need to adjust the mask you can actually just click on this and click edit mask and you can sort of increase or decrease the size of the mask that you want. But I'm going to keep it as is and what I'm going to do here is going to make sure that the opacity of the background is at 25 percent. You can darken it or lighten it a little bit more if you wish but I'm going to keep it at 25 percent. Then I'm going to highlight or click on the mask. I'm not going to move anything, but I'm going to click on stroke here on the same fifth tab, the graphic inspector, and I'm going to put a frame around it. So I go to stroke picture frame, and then I'll make sure that it's on this one down here on the lower left, which is sort of the blurred sort of uh, blending sort of frame. So I'm going to click on that, and you can play around with the scale a little bit to make sure it just highlights it exactly how you want it. And again, you can edit the mask at any time, so it'll change it for you if you wish. And now you'll see that I'll have a nice uh, slide here from one to two. So the question is, how do we make the nice sort of sliding transition between this slide here, which is our original slide, and then this one here, which is the mask that we've created a frame around, the blurred frame with the darkened background. And the, re the way we do that is we go to the first slide, you go to the second tab here in the inspector called the slide inspector and you go to transition and then you click on effect and then dissolve and you'll see a preview of the dissolve effect here if you want to re if you want to see it again you can click on this preview screen and it'll keep playing it for you and you can decrease or increase how quickly that dissolve happens and then you can just click 
play and play slideshow and you can see that effect just like we saw in the beginning. And of course you can rewind this video or go step by step through it to see exactly the steps we did to make it happen. And you can do this for any sort of slide. It works great for any uh, you know thing you want to point out on a particular website that you have up. Um, whether it's your own or one you're trying to highlight while you're teaching something to your audience. Again, it's a great slick way to highlight something on your slides that's going to really impress people. And people might not come up to you and say, oh, wow, that transition was awesome. Um, they're probably not going to do that, but it's going to really help fine tune and just really take your slide presentation to the next level. So I hope you enjoyed that tip. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. And please subscribe to the channel. And if you're not there already, head on over to smartpassiveincome.com. Thank you.